Hey there guys and welcome back to Poke Idol Festival, a sacred gold idol lock. You can see a little blue mohawk fin behind my head there bobbing along. And guess who it is? It's Freddy, the Marsh Tomp. <laughs> yeah, I did some off-screen grinding and I... I don't know how, but I forgot that uh, Freddy would evolve at level 16. I just barely managed to catch it on uh, on camera while I was recording, so roll the footage now. There you go. <laughs> Count that as saying you saw Freddy evolve. Um, yeah, so here's the team at the moment. We have the Misfits up to level 21. I at least had the foresight to stop a level before Mutsuki would evolve, which is level 22, I believe. Uh, we have Magnitude, Rock Through, Rock Polish, Defense Curl, Pin Missile, Poison Sting, Knock Off, Acupressure, kind of fun to deal with. And Water Pulse, Mud Shot, Yawn, and Bide. Not terrible. Uh, clearly, uh, Mutsuki and Freddy are pulling most of the weight on this unit at the moment because Pizzazz's moveset is very underpowered. Um, with Acupressure and the right boosts with Acupressure, she can be okay. But mostly, she's really only been able to take on wild Pokemon that are like at least 10 levels lower than her. So, probably will not see a lot of Pizzazz action for a little bit until she gets better moves, unfortunately. Uh, so what exactly, what kind of action are we going to see today? Well, actually, we are probably not going to see too much, uh, because I'm in a hurry, I don't have much time to produce this episode, so we're just gonna do a short episode today. Basically, all I plan to do is do the slowpoke well, so let us go see Kurt and trigger that event so we can be off to face Team Rocket and their band of evil idols, cutting off the the tails of off of people's slowpoke costumes, oh no! People worked so hard to make those those uh, those short little slowpoke skirts for the for the big performance day. You mer you you awful awful people. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But let's go down there and uh, and face whatever it is, and give you a taste of what the misfits are all about in their performances. Um, we will also probably do a catch down here. I don't know if we'll have time to audition it even. That's how little time I have. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, for now, let's just, uh, let's just throw Freddy right into her first trainer battle, I suppose. Venting some anger and some, whoa. <laughs> Throwing some big R's onto the stage. Alright, facing a Rattata. Okay, okay, oh, Ritsu. Ritsu. Well, um, I don't want to have to potentially deal with Hyper Fang, so I'm going to... Yawn, especially if you're preparing to crit me. That would not be fun. And I'll water pulse you. Oh, you're going for that flinch strategy, aren't you? Well, too bad I didn't flinch. <laughs> you did get the crit, though. That's not fun. There we go. I didn't one-shot you, so the yawn was useful. I'm gonna take you out while you asleep. Water in your face. And Pizzazz is getting EXP while we're fighting. She's got the EXP share on right now. She's a little weak to do her own performances right now, but she can certainly learn by watching, at least. Uh, Zubat. Let's throw Mutsuki in for that. Can definitely face a flying type with a rack type. And the... Oh no, Supersonic! I thought we established that nobody liked that song. Ah, uh, Mutsuki can deal with it though, but it, it does make her miss the rock throw. That is the one thing I don't like about a lot of rock moves. Very high power, lower accuracy. Not so great. And we hit ourselves in confusion. Oh, don't let this Zubat bedazzle you! Mutsuki! You can pull through! I love these, like, dark blue backgrounds, by the way. It's a very, a very moody stage that we've set for ourselves. And cool, cool. Gained ourselves some EXP for all that. Ekans, let us switch back to... Ooh, actually, is this a good... 
That might actually be a good Pokemon to put Pizzazz out against, because Pizzazz will resist the heck out of everything Ekans has, I think. Um, and worst comes to worst, we can always switch back into Freddy if, if things take a turn for the bad. So let's see what Pizzazz can do. Now I'm going to start out with some Acupressure, just to see if we get lucky. Acupressure, of course, will sharply raise a random stat, and it will be... Special attack. Great. The, the most useless one we could possibly have gotten. At least we are super resistant to the bite there. Well, not like type-wise, but apparently Pizzazz's defense is just that good. I didn't see what stat we raised. <laughs> to, uh, that's what I get for talking over everything. What did we get this time? Special defense? Okay, okay. I am fine with this. Let's just keep raising until we get some useful stuff and then maybe heal if we need to and then just go to town. Come on, come on, get something good, get get attack, get attack, yeah! Yeah, we got attack, and I think we are about ready to go now. Definitely can't be poisoned, that's good. I don't think you have an item, but let's try to knock you off anyway, see what that does. Not a lot, but, eh, considering it's only a 20 power move in this generation, not terrible. Um, pin missile probably won't do too much, but if we get a 5 hit, maybe, that would do decent. Or not? Eh, well, it's not doing too bad, considering it's resisted. Three? Four? Come on! Aw, oh, thank you, Pizzazz, for the five hit! Just what I needed, thank you. Knew that you needed to dazzle to make a good impression in your first real fight. Alrighty. Cool! You actually handled an opponent. I'm very proud of you. Um, you can see why we probably won't make this a regular thing with her at the moment. But, uh, I'm glad she got to fight, at least, for the camera. Um, although everybody is kind of already depleted on HP and we're only past one trainer. So I think I'm gonna run back and heal real quick and be right back. And here we are. We are back. I uh, bought some supplies while I was in there as well. So let us move forward and... Oh, we got a purple-haired girl up here, just raring and ready to go to fight us. Still haven't run into a Pokemon yet, but that's okay. Slowpoke Tails. I, I got nothing. <laughs> it's always been a bit weird, this plot point. It's like, happy fun kid game with underlying complex mathematics, but still, happy fun kid game and intermixed with uh, gruesome animal body part dismemberment because that's tonally consistent right eh. <laughs> got a mud slap going on got a mud fight slinging mud oh my god it's totally like uh, girls gone wild uh, mud wrestling sort of thing going on oh my god it's slippery scintillating that was a good bit of exp actually uh, Ooh, there's another good thing that pizzazz could fight dark types Pizzazz likey dark types. Definitely gonna see more of her than I figured in this episode. Even without a boost, I think a pin missile would do decent as long as it hits. And oh, the crunch actually doesn't do that much. Pizzazz's defense is really decent, actually. Whoa! One hit from pin missile? Even considering it was a crit, really? I am impressed, girl! Nicely done! I don't want you taking on a Geodude, though. Uh, let's uh, go back to Freddy for that, how about? Okay. Should not take too long. You rotten brat! My commentary might be a little more limited than usual. Oh, here's our maybe catch for the area. Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! Female Shelder. Interesting. We already have a water type, but we do not have an ice type. And even so, even if we have another water type, it's on a separate unit. So that's not necessarily bad overlap. Hmm. I wonder if we can get this. Uh... I don't think a water pulse would kill it. Water pulse barely kills things that, <laughs> that Freddy is effective against. Okay, that's halfway. Mm, it's a little more than I would have liked. So we can probably... should we switch to Pizzazz to... Or let's just try and throw a ball from this level and see how it does. Uh, 
Uh, come on. Yeah, Shelder was caught. I like Shelder a lot, actually. I really like Shelder and Cloister both. So I am really, really interested in using that. Um. Oh, <laughs> I'm just thinking, actually. Um, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted. I haven't used many of the Muse member names so far. I've really only used Kotori because I wanted to save the Muse member names for really good Pokemon or really suitable Pokemon but really hmm. no I think I will save it. I was thinking maybe Umi because water or Ellie because ice but those names don't really seem to suit Shelter or Cloister. They're, they're kind of more silly Pokemon or at least Shelter is uh, than either of those characters are. And anybody else on Muse uh, would not necessarily be a good fit either, type-wise. Mm, so we'll save it for now, but uh, trust me, we will name something after another Muse member eventually. Just waiting for the right moment. Uh, so what name can we use then? Okay, I think I have one. I'm going to call you... Ariel. Because purple shells. <laughs> That name was suggested by Yami Chippy. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to have an, an Ariel on the maybe team. I think we'll audition her when we get out of the Slowpoke well. Uh, I'd rather just move on at the moment. Oh, we found a King's Rock. That's neat. Uh, so once we get back to the Pokemon Center, we will audition her and see if we can keep her. Uh, for now, let's just uh, keep moving forward, I guess. Keep getting some EXPs for all our misfits. Cacnea. <laughs> Grass. Hey, not exactly Freddy's favorite type of opponent. Um, let's... Oh, wait. Grass Dark. Gee, I wonder what's four times weak to, the, to that. <laughs> well, I wonder what is four times effective against that. You knew what I meant. Ah, I feel my spikities. Man, I was- I guess I was thinking I wouldn't see much of Pizzazz just because so many of the wild Pokémon she did not have an advantage against. Maybe the trainer Pokémon, it's a different story. Alrighty. Uh, let's go for Mutski. Don't think the poison type will appreciate our- our super strong ground moves. Although, it might have, uh, ooh, it might have double kick. Hopefully if it does, we are strong enough to withstand it. Let's hope we get a good magnitude going. And it's gonna poison sting anyway, so bully for us. And we didn't even get poisoned. Yeah! Yeah! Rock out with that magnitude 9! Oh! Oh, so awesome! Good job, Mutski! And... Oh, I forgot Mutski's not that... <coughs> oh, I forgot Mutski's not that close to leveling up, though. Darn it. I was hoping we might get to see her evolve in this episode. Maybe we should put her up front. Just so maybe we can have a chance of that happening, maybe. Because we've got our executive up front, although, mm, he might have stronger Pokemon. I'm a little wary. I want to keep our misfits alive. I don't want to put them in danger needlessly. Should we go with, uh, with Cherry Leaf, maybe? Instead? Uh, what would he be likely to have? Poison? Poison we can deal with with Freddy. Flying, we could deal with with Mutski. Um, water, I guess not not a great against any of them. Hibiki would be best. Uh, there. I guess the Misfits might be better, maybe? Because uh, Poison would not be great for Hibiki. And we don't really have many counters uh, against what they might have. I don't know. They would have ground too, maybe. I don't know. Mostly I'm j Well, the level difference isn't that big anyway. Um, ah. I'm just so second guessing right now. I don't want anyone to die because I made a bad decision. And I also don't want to go through the trouble of looking up a walkthrough because there isn't really a great walkthrough for Sacred Gold. You'd have to like find somebody's video playthrough. Uh, I don't have time for that. I guess based on what we've seen so far, the misfits are probably still fine. Uh, let's give Pizzazz a little bit of a potion, maybe, just before we go in. Our last regular potion. And I think we should be okay? 
Yeah, let's do this. Scariest and cruelest idol manager in Team Rocket. Oh boy. Executive Proton has a Voltorb. Well, at least we have two ground types. I don't, I don't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> Can we get that, that awesome magnitude going again? Magnitude 6, okay, respectable, respectable. It'd be like a... Okay, that's even better. <laughs> it's still a one-hit KO. I was thinking maybe it would be a two-hit KO, but Mutsuki, you are still full of surprises. Thank you, thank you. Kecnia. That is a job for our, our pizzazz. There we go. Ugh, that 4x effective pin missile. So enjoying that. Oh, I got sucker punched, though. Eh, didn't hit that lightly either. But we are certainly hitting harder than that. We are just wowing the non-existent crowd way more than you could ever hope to, stupid cactus. Nice experience. Zubat. I think Mutsuki can definitely handle that. I think I made the right choice in which unit to use. This is totally, totally a Misfits-centric episode. That's fine by me. They totally need... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It has Giga Drain! Oh fuck! Oh! I should have guessed there would be shenanigans. I should have guessed there would be shenanigans. Fetch uh, half a level before you evolved. No. No. Why does everything have surprise grass moves in this game? Oh no. And it's probably got wing attack. Oh no. And oh. Oh. What is Freddy's special defense like? Decent, at least? How is Mutsuki's? Yeah, about the same. Oh no, we just have to really hope we kill it in one hit, I guess. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I was gonna be so careful! Oh, would Yawn help even? If we survive one hit, it would probably, we could probably take advantage of it being asleep. Uh, is it worth trying? I don't think we can one-shot it with a water pulse. Mm. Let's try it and hope that if it uses Giga Drain, we can survive it. Mm. That last one was a crit. Okay, good. It's not even half. Okay, I think we can deal with that. We should still heal anyway, just in case. Oh my god, Mutsuki. I, oh, fuck. This game, man. Why? It's evil! Just evil surprises around every corner. Oh, and I was hoping we would have, like, this whole unit together for a long time. Oh. Oh, god. Oh, and we're gonna have to, if we keep Ariel, we're gonna have to add her to this unit, and we'll have two water types. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, coughing. Well, hopefully we can deal with the coughing. Hopefully it doesn't self-destruct, and if it does, hopefully we can take it. Let's yawn to be sure that uh, we have a better chance. Toxic. Ugh, gross. Let's antidote that right off. Let that stop that before it becomes a problem. Come on. God damn it, Mutsuki. I'm still just reeling from that. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. This was supposed to be the easy episode. This was supposed to be the 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 the, the break the breaking everybody in and showing how great they were episode. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah. Now I'm depressed. Ah. Yes, I am serious. I'm seriously taking revenge on you for your cheap tactics. Fuck you, Proton. Ah. I don't want to do an audition. I'm gonna do it next time. Oh. Well, 
least after this we can finish off with something good. Um, we did get some nice fan art, so we'll have some some good tribute art to send off our fallen Geodude who spent far too little time with us. Oh. We'll audition Ariel next time, guys. I I really don't have time to do it right now. Or the or the will to after that. So we'll find out what that happens next time. Uh, for now, enjoy the art, and I will see you guys next episode. We'll train up hard to take on, I think, Bugsy is our next big challenge. I'm